Thorlabs Vitran LVC cleavers are capable of high precision cleaving of glass fibers with diameters ranging from 80 microns to 1250 microns. In this video, we will demonstrate how LVC401, LVC401A, and LVC450B cleavers use the tension and scribe technique to produce flat cleaved fibers with plus minus 0.5 degree tolerance. The tension and scribe cleaving method used in Vitran cleavers first places the fiber under a known tension. The cleave blade then gradually moves forward in a pecking motion until the blade just strikes the fiber. This creates a scribe mark on the surface of the fiber. The tension then causes that scribe mark to propagate uniformly over the cross section of the fiber, resulting in a cleaved surface. If you have not already watched the video on unboxing and setting up your cleaver, or the video on installing inserts, click the link in the annotation to view those first. Use the handset controller to open the appropriate cleave file. Or, if you are using a non-standard fiber, use the Auto Parameter tool to suggest parameters and save as a new file. Open the fiber holding block lids. When the left lid is opened, the vacuum will turn on if this is enabled for the cleave file. It will stop automatically at the end of a timer, or you can press the start button to interrupt it. Inspect to assure that the fiber holding blocks and inserts are clean and free of debris. If not, use a cotton-tipped applicator or included nylon brush with a solvent such as acetone or IPA to brush the area clean. Brush away from the cleave blade. To prepare the fiber for cleaving, it will need to be stripped and cleaned. It may be helpful to mark the intended strip length. If you haven't measured the strip length, you can lay a length of clean fiber in the cleaver with the end extending to the far side of the right fiber holding block lid. If you are using a transfer insert, be mindful whether you want the coating or glass cladding in the graphite v-groove. Then, using a felt-tipped marker, mark where you want the strip shoulder to be. Using a strip tool appropriate for the fiber, remove the required length of coating. Use a low lint wipe and solvent to clean the stripped portion, as well as the coated portion, which will sit in the insert. Be sure to rotate the fiber to clean all sides. With your thumb and forefinger, rotate the fiber so that the curl is down. If the cleave file has vacuum enabled, press the start button to initiate the vacuum and then lay the fiber into the v-groove of the inserts. The fiber holding block lids should always be closed left to right. If a transfer insert is used, close the transfer clamp first. Lower the left lid and gently lift the cam lever to fully close it. Before closing the right lid, you may use soft tip tweezers to lift the fiber out of the right insert and allow the vacuum to draw it back into the V-groove. This will release unwanted torsion. Lower the right fiber holding block lid and gently lift the cam lever to fully close it. Press the start button again to activate the cleave. The left fiber holding block will slowly move left, applying tension to the fiber. Next, the cleave blade will advance to its pre-cleave position. It should not strike the fiber during this move. Then, the blade will oscillate to advance forward. When the blade strikes the fiber, it will create a scribe mark, which will propagate across the diameter of the fiber, forming a flat cleave. The fiber will then be ready to be used in a splicer or glass processor. 